What's going on guys, Robofion here. Today we have another suit overview video. Today we'll be going over gun cannon detector. Let's get into it. So, starting off, the kit is actually really nice. I really like this kit. So, for the main weapon you have the GCD beam rifle. For the melee it has the blow, which is enhanced. For the sub weapons you have beam cannon times two, the head mounted Vulcan, the shorter beam gun, and the GCD beam rifle grenade, which is really, really cool. And it's pretty much gun cannon detector beam rifle grenade. So jumping over to the skills here, you'll see we have high performance radar, high performance scope, observational data link, frontline support system, scout parallel process system, which is amazing. This I love seeing this skill on support suits. It's awesome. And we have stabilization device, which is pretty dope because you can crouch and you have more resistance to being staggered or stunned or anything like that however you can't cancel out of it with a tackle so be very careful when you utilize this quick boost of course is always welcome and precision shelling which is really dope you get that much more five percent to your fire modifier when you're crouching in space I mean, excuse me, when you're crouching on the ground or standing still in space. Mind you, for this video, I am using level 2. I really wanted to do this suit, but I only had level 2, so I'll go into it. This does start at 450, not 500, so be very careful. Now, uh, when it comes to building, this suit in particular, I really, 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 really suggest you kind of help it get over heating recovery as you see here i have three auxiliary generators and after that i have some enhanced firing programs as well as a little bit of thruster to kind of help me boost around a little bit per se and just for giggles and i want to keep my uh, vulcans and my grenade charged just a little bit is i put the quick loader here however you can kind of swap that out for anything else maybe a little bit of HP or something like that. I did it just to fill it up. Uh, so be very mindful of it. I will say this suit is very beam focused. So wherever it comes down to, you can do that. As you see here with those three auxiliary generators, uh, my overheat for my main gun is down 2.5 seconds. The beam cannons overheat is down 4.8 seconds and the shorter beam gun is down 2.5 seconds and when you're in the two seconds or higher that makes a huge difference in a battle however for the vulcans and the grenade it's not that much a difference but it's enough to fill in between my other weapons charging now i'll also say you could probably build this a little bit more tankier but it is already a resistant suit in terms of the abilities so you really want to worry about getting staggered out of something and taking that damage in action you have the beam rifle which is really dope you shoot it once and it almost goes all the way out but it recovers rather quickly up next you have your punches which is from your blow attack and you have of course your right your left jab and you have your forward punch punch and of course your down attack is the big kick boot to the head your beam cannon and the thing i like about this suit it doesn't require focus and it is awesome for this and we'll go over why in a little bit here you have your beam cannon which also staggers and keep in mind your beam rifle and your beam cannon both stagger and does not require focus it is amazing i love it and then you have your vulcan gun and your beam gun which you can use very nice in succession between shots and finally you have your grenade launcher which you only shoot once and then it We'll have to reload. However, it also stuns. You guys, you guys, you guys caught that, right? You have one, two, three stuns without focus fire. This is why this suit is very, very, very strong. It's a fun suit. It's a dangerous suit. Make sure when you're firing from far away that you're crouching if you're not going prone to get that extra damage as well as to get that resistance if someone's shooting at you. Now, when it comes to combos, you definitely can combo with this suit. However, I would say start your combos with your beam cannon and you'll probably ask, why should I do that? Uh, one, because your beam cannon, if you see the time to switch between your beam cannon, 
your beam rifle and your grenade launcher, your beam cannon takes the longest to charge or switch to. So it's ideally you could start with your beam cannon, switch to your grenade launcher, switch to your beam rifle, and like that, at this point, your enemy may or may not be able to evade one of those, but if your aim is true and it's good, you're gonna stun two out of three, unless they have emergency evasion or something to uh, quell that. Now, what you can also do is you can start with your beam cannon and instead of going grenade launcher, you can go cannon, rifle, then launcher. And as you see, they'll be really low. You can switch to your beam gun, spray them down while you back up if they're running up on you, or you can assault your enemy with your beam gun. And the beam gun charges really quick. I really, really like it. So this suit is amazing. I would say utilize your stunning to kind of shut down enemies or a lot of cases I really like to help my allies out so if they're getting cornered or jumped I will I absolutely love stunning enemies with the suit as bad as it sounds people are like oh man I'm tired of stun I'm like it happens dude this is what the suit's designed for it's unfortunate that this suit is only on ground at the same time be busted however if you get your hands in the suit and you want to play a support this is one of the funnest supports to play again you're a very very strong suit with your stuns and every time you have something on cooldown you have another weapon up it's extremely rare for all your weapons to be reloading or on some sort of cooldown so again make sure you switch between your weapons frequently get all of your weapons out for your attacks i would strongly suggest trying never to melee just try to stay away from the enemy. Hopefully you can be partnered up with someone during a fight. But this suit is amazing. I really don't have anything much more to share with this suit. Uh, if I'm forgetting something, guys, let me know. Uh, if I was wrong about something, let me know. But this suit is amazing. Please, please, please try it. And when you're fighting in the battlefield, be very, very, very careful. The last thing you need to do is get caught out in the open and get stunned three times. And then just destroyed by their teammates. So keep that in mind. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for checking this video out. If you want to see more gameplay of this guy, I have a couple of videos up. So go check those out. And I will see you next time. Peace.